good morning on this last park day we are headed into Epcot it has an official opening time at 11 but we got to the parking plaza at 10 and they let us in at 10 15 so now we're going in to try to hopefully have a less rainy day and a good last park day for this trip so let's go so after we parked we were allowed to go right into Epcot and there is nobody here you have never seen it this empty let me show you Y'all, it, it's dead. We're on our way to Frozen Ever After. Look, not a human in sight, except Heather. We're walking. We're gonna be one of the first ones on. We are leaving. We just rode the three caballeros, which sometimes has a growing weight throughout the day because of the reduced capacity, but also it's just air conditioning, so it feels good. Um, we were able to get on Frozen Ever After before the official park opening, and then we were over here by like a little after 11, which is the official park opening. And test track's down today, so that's that means it's going to shift the way that people do their rides, but still not very busy and hardly anyone here. We're off to see what else we can do today. We're back to ride soaring. Some much needed indoor cooling off time. We're just jumping from land to land. We are ready for takeoff. Okay, we are right next to, this is the Imagination Pavilion where Journey into Imagination with Figment is located. And right here is where they have been having characters appear. We just saw Joy today. He was super cute. Sometimes Winnie the Pooh appears, but we're told he's not coming out today. So if you want to catch the characters, then this is a great spot to be. Um, it's right between the land where Soren is and Journey into Imagination with Figment. We are headed to Le Cellier in the Camden Pavilion for lunch. Can't wait to cool off, have some good food, hopefully some pretzel bread. Okay, so our food just arrived. We both got the wedge salad, it looks very beautiful. And then I got the cheese soup, which is very popular here. Um, and then that's her wedge salad and then her poutine. Which poutine was that? They're just the signature. Signature. And then they, everybody gets pretzel bread, which is delicious here. And so it is time to eat. So we just finished up at La Salle. It was good food. Um, they said their most popular appetizer is the cheese soup that I had. And their most popular entree is filet mignon. Most popular dessert is creme brulee. And um, we just got soup and salad pretty much, which it just fit our appetite today. Um, I would say it wasn't quite as good as I remember it, but the cast members that have been working here for a long time are not working here anymore. So they had to go home to their home countries. And so they had to pull in cast members from other places. And so everyone's really new. So it wasn't a bad meal. It just wasn't quite as good as I remember it. Um, but it was really nice to be in the air conditioning and, and order food that was good enough. And it's really nice to be in the Canada Pavilion, which is a beautiful place. So we are off to see if we can find some entertainment in the World Showcase.
Elsa and Elsa are coming. We're at the American Gardens Theater where we just had entertainment on the stage. Uh, it was the Janitors and Mariachi Cobre. And unlike the other entertainment here, this is scheduled so you can look it up in the app. And what's nice is you're in the shaded covered area and you're, you can just sit and relax and they come to you instead of you having to walk around the sunny hot world showcase to find them. So this has been a lovely show under this covered space. So we headed to the World Showcase this afternoon to try to find the cavalcades that come through and um, we found them in various spots. But one thing that was super interesting is that Anna and Elsa not only don't ride together because of social distancing rules, but they don't do the whole loop, it seems, like the other two cavalcades. You can find all of them listed in the My Disney Experience app um, to see when they start and stop and then they appear intermittently. Um, but a lot of people have reported seeing the other two cavalcades, but not Anna and Elsa. And we think, you can hear the music, they're, they do like bits of the World Showcase at a time. We're not quite sure, but um, they don't do the whole loop with the other two, it seems. And so that would explain why people keep messing them. Just an FYI, if you plan to come. The funny thing about Food and Wine Festival right now is not only did it start in July, but there are remnants of Flower and Garden Festival, as you can see in this topiary. So it's just ironic that July, one of the only months that didn't have a festival now is a combination of two others. We went to the ice cream place in the French Pavilion, La Artisan de Glaces. I don't say French, but that's what it's called, I think. Um, and we, it started drizzling, so we came into the French bakery to eat. But um, I got a two scoop sundae with caramel and chocolate sauce. She got mango sorbet. They are known for their martinis where you can choose the ice cream and the alcohol and combine them like a float, um, but we chose to do something else today. But anyway, we're gonna just hang out here until we're done with the ice cream and the rain sauce. Yes. Okay. Then next I'll have a second and then next. Thank you. So the Impressions de France and Beauty and the Beast Singalong Theater is right here. And the Disney World website had the list of open attractions. And they do list Impressions de France, but they don't list the Beauty and the Beast Singalong. But the truth is they've gone back to their their schedule before, which is they do the Beauty and the Beast Singalong from park opening until 7 or 7.30. And then they would show Impressions de France in the evening. So it is still available if you're interested. So in addition to the cavalcades and Joy and Winnie the Pooh often appearing in near the Imagination Pavilion, this gazebo that is in the UK Pavilion often has Mary Poppins and Alice in Wonderland. So you can stand down here and take selfies with them and they appear randomly throughout the day. We had a rainstorm come through as often does in Florida and that changes a lot of things including some of the booths and the character interactions and stuff but we are headed to the front of the park after a very very good day for one more ride this trip so we went on one last ride on spaceship earth before we head out this was our last ride for the whole trip it's been an amazing trip it's been fantastic to have videos and we plan on doing this as a more normal thing i have lots of thoughts in the coming weeks about what it's like to plan a trip right now but i will tell you i was extremely nervous and uh, also excited and then after being here it's been such a fantastic trip. Obviously there's reasons to be nervous right now, but um, I felt very secure and impressed by how things have gone. And also it was really fun. So this is still a magical place for us and will be for many. And so for those people who do want to travel in the coming months, we will have lots of information in videos about how to help you do that. So that is gonna be it for now. Thank you for joining. Watch for more 
in the coming weeks.